Hey Clashers, there's a new challenge in the game and I will show you today the easiest way on how to beat the challenge and get those three stars and you can see how many troops we have left alive to make sure that you're going to get that three star and the rewards. And if you're buying anything from the in-game shop and liking the videos on this channel and you would like to support the channel, make sure to use credit code ITSU when buying anything from the in-game shop like go pass or any offers. Really big thank you for that. And now let's get ready with the plan. On the left side, we're starting with our siege machine with the flame finger. At the bottom side with our queen. And now the really important trick. The raged electro dragon to take down the multi fern tower. And then the remaining dragon and dragon riders from the far right side. That being said, let's get into it. And let's do everything step by step. Starting things off is going to be the flame finger. As soon as that's done, let's start with one CK goblin for the gold mine. And your queen... Really important, a little bit towards the bottom side of that barrack. With the heaters right behind, you now have to wait to play the first rage. Important, wait for this arch tower to go down. Wait until that and then place that rage and play a second rage with the Elector Dragon onto the Elixir Collector. Important, Elector Dragon at the 6 o'clock side of the Elixir, uh, of the Elixir Collector. Now we have our Coco Loon going in there and as soon as this air defense is down, you're playing one wall breaker. Important, just keep your queen raged up, poison the defending clan council and you are going to be fine. Yes, the monolith is going to deal a lot of damage, but you are fine with your rage. The next thing what you're going to do is, as soon as your queen is hitting that town hall, place an invisibility spell onto your queen and onto your heaters and just rage up that queen again. 2 million as the town hall is going down onto the elixir storages and then all of the loons, then all of the dragons and then all of those dragon riders from the far right side and at this point just concentrate on your queen. The queen is going to have, like she has to use her ability as soon as that defending queen from the core is attacking your queen. Use the queen ability, you're going to be fine and use all of those freezes for the core eagle. The eagle, try to freeze some Tesla with the eagle together, that's always a great target and keep your troops safe. All the time, all the time, your flame finger has worked nicely to take down the entire left side. At this point, there's not much you can do. You can play some more wall breaks to get your queen move further into the base, but most of the time the queen is just going to backtrack going for the storages. There is one important thing you can still do at this point with your barbarians and your giant. What is that? There is some uh, royal ghost traps on the outside which you can use with or you can trigger with those barbarians. Use the poison to try to make sure that there is as much damage on those royal ghosts. They don't have that many hit points. With that being said, this is already a 3 cell. You can see there's plenty of time left. There is a ton of dragon riders and dragons left to take down the base. And with that, it's a super easy 3 star. I hope this approach was helpful for you to complete the challenge. It was one of the harder challenges, to be honest. But I think with this guide, you got this done really easily. Thank you so much for watching. And make sure to follow this channel if you always want to be up to date with any Clash content out there. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys back tomorrow with the next Clash video. Until then, see ya. And bye-bye.